So what is actually collinearity? Well, collinearity is the situation in which two or more of the explanatory variables are highly correlated. So we saw that in our previous video, uh, our, our uh, two variables, um, market change, and, and the change in the Dow, Jone, uh, Dow Jones index uh, were 0 0.9, 0 0.91. So, and, and this rel relatively high correlation uh, wrecked havoc with, with our standard errors in, in the, the, uh, the uh, regression model. Uh, so so the the regression um, uh, model did not uh, uh, was not able to to decipher uh, which signal comes from from market change and which signal comes from from Dow change because they are so so highly correlated okay which which resulted in in a higher standard error for for market change um, compared to the ordinary cap m model the simple regression model so if we go back and uh, and and as we saw in the correlation matrix uh there will always be some some correlation between the uh, the variables and uh, but but if if the correlation is is low enough, which is uh, not a a uh, definitive term, um, then 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 uh, you have no problems. But when your explanatory variables, the the x variables. Are highly correlated. Uh, it decreases the the uh, precision of the estimates. The increases the standard errors. Okay. So 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 the standard errors they increase, and the result of that is that um, um, it's difficult to to uh, know if uh, um, uh, if an x variable is significant or not if the slope of the x variable is is significant or not um, so for example uh, the the multiple regression model estimates the effect of marked change holding Dow change and other variable constant. So, for example, if we go back to our our result, our result was here. We Sony change is the y variable, and each of these coefficients, each of these coefficients, is the effect of of one unit change, one unit change of the variable um, on Sony change. So, for example, if you if if you change market change, uh, the the if the market changes by one percent, uh, then we expect Sony uh, stock to change by uh, zero point nine seven percent. Okay, but that's only given no change in the other variables and and we know that uh, the the correlation between the market and the Dow Jones is 0 0.90 okay it's it, they are really really correlated um, in in which scenario does the the market change but the Dow does not change okay it virtually does not happen because they 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 are moving in conjunction okay so so that's that's a bit of the problem with with uh, um interpreting these these coefficients because uh, they they assume that everything else is is kept the same but in 
in real life, uh, Market and 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 the DAO they they co uh, move in in uh, they they are mo uh, co moving. Okay. So, <clears throat> uh, but uh, what we need to uh, keep in mind is that collinearity does not violate the the multiple regression model assumptions. Um, because the 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 uh, the bees, the uh, the um, the intercept and and the the slopes, they are unbiased. Uh, let's see. I will need to. So they they are un unbiased, which means that on average. Uh, you will uh, uh, miss on the target uh, equally on the upside and the downside. So on 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 average, the the uh, slopes uh, and the intercept uh, estimate uh, are 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 correct. It's just that uh, they are varying a lot more. Uh, in in, uh, in in case of of um, collinearity, and this means that the the uh, the um, confidence intervals they they are wider, so it's it's harder to interpret the the regression because uh, there's more uncertainty. Okay, so so for example, I just wanted to show you. Uh, if you have a y variable, okay, let's see. Oops, it's difficult to draw here. Uh, if, if you have a y variable and you have two x variables, x1 and x2, I just wanted to, to, to show you that, uh, for example, this, um, this y variable is like a price it might be a a um, a uh, power price okay uh, measure, me as measured in euros per megawatt hour okay so so you 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 you, you have this <coughs> spiky behavior that the price is going up uh, at some some times and you you just wonder okay what can I, how can I explain this okay I want to explain these spikes and then you find uh, another um, uh, variable which has has basically the the same same structure here and you find a good fit but if you if you only have this this x1 then you see that well you can explain uh, the the power price based on this x1 but what if what if you had uh, like another variable and and this was like negatively correlated with with x1 but still now you you really don't know what is causing the the spikes is it the fall in x2 or is it the rise in x1 okay so and 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 this this uh, makes it really difficult for the for the computer to know uh, which effect is is most important okay and and it's really difficult to decipher which of these x1 and x2 is actually contributing to to the spikes in the y variable okay so uh, for example um, if we have perfect collinearity, which means that um, 
correlation is equal to one uh, or correlation e is equal to negative one. For example, here in the, the, the example I show you that uh, the, the correlation between the spikes in X1 and X2, they are, are like negative one, but still, even though it's negative, it, 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 it makes it really difficult for, for the computer to, to know uh, which, which one of these uh, actually cause or is related to, to the spikes in, in Y. So, for example, in DAO change. Okay, so so we 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 uh, have a regression. Um, uh, let's see, yeah, here. So we have a regression, and now we have both small big and big small, where if in in Stata you can you can create a new variable by the gen for generate um, function and you call it big big small and the value of big small is negative one times the small big okay so now 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 you have created big small which is is uh, correlated with small big uh, with a correlation of negative one. So actually you can perfectly uh, explain uh, one by using the information in the other variable, okay? So for example, the, the correlation big small and small big is equal to negative one. Okay, so uh, then you regress Sony change, which is your Y, uh, on market change, Dow change, small, big, big, small, and high, low. And Stata immediately notice, notice that uh, there is collinearity and one of the 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 variables the last one uh, will be dropped okay so big small is dropped because of of collinearity okay um but this is only in in the case of perfect collinearity uh usually you have to uh, look at several different um, measures uh, to to uh, look for signs of of collinearity, and um, one sign is a high correlation between the explanatory variables. So then you uh, make the the correlation matrix. And you just look at at the correlation between the different variables, and in case you you have your augmenting a variable or augmenting a model with a new variable, and the the R squared doesn't change as much as you uh, thought, then then that might be a sign that. Uh, the the information in the new variable uh, has already been been uh, included or is included in the other variables already. Okay. And if if standard errors increase when you add a variable, then that might uh, ind in in indicate that. Um, uh, your new variable and the variable which which uh, gets an increased standard error um, uh, are are uh, collinear. And if if coefficient estimates change dramatically, uh, then that's also a a um, 
uh, sign that uh, two variables uh, have have some of the 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 explain some of the same uh, information uh, which is which is relevant for the y variable and uh, if especially if you have a large f statistic which means that uh, a lot of um, uh, a lot of um, uh, well that the 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 regression itself is 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 significant but but the the uh, the uh, uh, T statistics uh, they they are are uh, very small. Um, then then it's a sign of collinearity. And um, what should you do if if you see any of these um, any of these uh, uh, signs? Then uh, you have to look for uh, like. Uh, uh, logic and uh, you have to add, ask yourself do you have a good reason to keep the 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 x's in the model okay like um, or do you have a lot of similar similar x variables um, if you in this case you might drop drop one of the the more similar uh, x variables and and just check the results again and and go go through this list of signs of collinearity and and look if if it helped to drop one variable okay and if it didn't work then you might try to drop another variable or uh, and 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 include the first one or or drop both of them so, uh, what is the the best model? And uh, there's uh, uh, in general there's there's no um, exact way to to create a best model, but you have to look for for a theory, which is which is old knowledge. And and uh, uh, that's uh, that's often a very good start. That's often often a very good start. Look at what other people have done, and and uh, try that on your problem and on, on on your data set, and then you can start uh, think uh, think of something new maybe you you want to augment that model or that theory and and uh you can you can uh, uh, and then you can test these models and 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 check um which which model uh uh, has has uh, the best metrics with with r squared and and t values and uh, less problems with with uh, uh, heteroscedasticity and nonlinearity and and uh, collinearity. So what what you can do is is uh, you can just check what are candidate hypothesis okay um, what can help in explaining why okay and and uh, if if you think about it and then often many different models can be tested okay you can you can have uh, y here and you can test x1 you can test x2 and and x3 or or a com combination of these only x1 only x2 only x3 or just x2 x3 okay so so you have to 
think a bit about what what should be able to explain the the y variable and uh, does the model have predicted power with all of these explanatory variables then well if if it doesn't then if the p-value if the p-value is is low then go to uh, one okay then then just uh, redo your model okay and um, does each x variable have statistical significance then you look at the t st statistic and if if it's okay then there's no problem but if 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 you have a lot of variables uh, with low t stats then then you should think about uh, whether or not to to include those okay uh, because if you exclude a variable you are telling uh, the model that uh, it has a definite uh, zero uh, effect on 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 the y variable that that x variable has a zero effect on the y variable and it might be true but uh, it also might not be true, even though the the uh, the uh, slope for that particular x variable is is close to zero. Okay, um, so but if you if you include a non-relevant uh, variable into your model, then then uh, you're just adding noise to 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 the model, and um, uh, then um, uh, your your uh, standard errors and 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 uh, prediction intervals will will suffer. Okay, they will be wider. So um, if if you have some some non non uh, um, uh, significant uh, t stats then then you can exclude that model and just try and run the regression again and and see see what happens and may, maybe you will learn something from that okay so what's the best practice um, well look at plots okay plots 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 um, always look at plots of of the y variable against the x variables and actually also the the x variables on each other x uh, i versus x j okay so maybe you will learn something uh, from that and and you can check if 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 you see any uh, any signs of nonlinearity, and uh, important to check the F statistic before you do any uh, anything else, and uh, check the uh, the um, uh, the uh, the well. Actually, we could let's see uh, right here. So uh, check um, multiple regression model conditions. Which, yeah, just check the residuals, okay? And uh, then you you check the F statistic just to check if if the the uh, the model actually adds any information about the y if it doesn't then you have to start at square one and um, then you can check the 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 different signs of collinearity and don't do anything immediately um, when when you uh, find signs of collinearity you have to stop and think 
and and just use your judgment okay and uh, remove explanatory variables one as, at the time and uh, yeah regression modeling is iterative it's like you you uh, get a model or you 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 have a model and then you get results okay and then you just uh, based on those results you can you can check your model again and and you can uh, try to find a model which uh, does not um, have a problem with for example collinearity co so that was everything for for this model see you next time